Uh, we got a new song, right, with the uh, with the Kid Frost sample. Yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. Um, shout out to Kid Frost, DJ Tony, Tony G cleared the sample. He FaceTimed us directly, and he he fucks with the movement. You know what I'm saying, the OG. Um, so that was dope as hell, man. To was to... there any problem clearing the record, clearing the sample? Uh, it was uh, just just getting a hold of him, yeah, and then um, we had we had our manager Wack. He went. He went down to East LA and met up mm -hmm. with him firsthand. And then after that, FaceTimed him and, and then that was that. See, that's that support that Latinos need to continue, um, you know, to have for one another. Seriously. Yeah. I think sometimes uh, we, we, you know, we, we hurt ourselves by, by hating on, on another person or not wanting to see this person shine or whatever. You know, there's still some of that going on too, man. But it's dope to see an OG like Kid Frost tap in and say, yo, let's go. Yeah. yeah. And that's why we felt it was only right to come out with like, that type of song because of the history of that song and then sure. what we're trying to do you know what i'm saying just to take that song and flip it and make it our own that's why we mm -hmm. felt like it was only right for it to be our first single to come out with that shit. that's yeah. right and of like course we're talking about that to like paying homage to la raza and all that shit. and no we're from l.a i know that's a fucking huge song here so we wanted to do it just if we ratcheted like a motherfucker but um we just modernized it and, and i don't know man i think we flipped it pretty cool um but it was only right, yeah, to come out with that shit. Right? That's the way to get it, man. What up, Les? Yo, so what is 2020? When we get out of uh, this self safer at home, 2020, what else do you guys have coming up? We were supposed to do a whole, like, West Coast radio tour alongside some shows along the way. Yeah. Um, we just got back from tour with Game all over Europe. That was crazy. I was saying. Yeah. We're supposed to come back home for a week and then go back on the road, but um it didn't happen so to put a halt and everything but we're in the studio just locked in recording we've been doing a lot of dope songs with dope artists too that are fucking with us like yeah. jeremiah french uh paul wall just hit us the other day just like crazy stuff man so it's moving wow. but yeah, um just, lo just a little low key just put a little halt to it but the on the positive side we're just locked in and just cooking stuff so that's uh, it that's uh, it hey coming back from like, europe look, what happened uh, and a lot of content. I don't know if you guys follow us on IG, but we're we're posting all kind of stuff, man. Like funny stuff alongside with music. Like yeah. we low key started not on a reality show, but we're spoofing reality TV with actual events that happened in our life, like on tour, like fights with the crowd and shit, and made it like a funny reality TV storyline. So if you guys have to check it out, check it out. It's pretty funny. Yeah, for sure, man. When you guys got back from Europe, and of course, that's when I think that was the beginning of the Rona outbreak. Did you guys get tested? We didn't. Uh, <laughs> we probably should have because uh, when we were on the road, we got pretty, we got pretty sick. But, super. but just within time, we just, you know, started feeling better. But we should have probably got tested. Yeah. Yo, y'all probably had it. I, I think we had it too. We were sick as fuck in December. You can't man. tell me I didn't have it. I, I tell them every day, you can't tell me I didn't Bro. have it because, like, literally every city after we would stop to the next city, you turn on the news, and then you see COVID 19 here in London, COVID 19 here in Manchester. I was like, damn, bro, we were just there with all these people there, touching us, jumping in the crowd, and then we felt sick. We had a so, fever and all that. Even game two, game was sick too. And, and, yep. I was just like, bro, you can't tell me I didn't have it. I had that shit, but you know what I mean? We're young, so like our, our immune system just beat that shit. And yeah. we're out there sweating every day. Like we're literally, bro, I'll be like shivering in the corner, sick as hell, drinking tea, turn it up on the crowd, fucking stage dive, mosh pit. And I'll go back to my corner after the show, like it sick was, as hell, it was, bro. It was crazy. You had to yeah. just go out there and pretend like you're having fun, but like, yeah, man. man, we were sick, super sick. That's well, right. We came back. We didn't even tell. We, we went to Dubai was the last spot. So we didn't write that we went to Europe because it probably would have quarantined us. So we're like, nah, don't write that. We just wrote Dubai and they let yeah. us back in. So I don't know. Yeah, and just pretty <laughs> much stay in the house after that. You didn't come out. Yeah, yeah man. Work. Going back to the, to the record, um, how much pressure was it knowing that you had a classic sample in your hands and, and it's like, damn, if, I, if we don't do this shit right, we're going to get fucking eaten up. And, and and it's either this, this can make us or break us. What was the pressure like in the studio and 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 and, and how was that process? Uh I think making it we didn't feel any pressure really. Uh we I knew we had to like come off, like rip it, but it's really afterwards, you you know, and we've been dealing with that our whole life, like people were saying this, like we're never enough for Mexicans or the other side. So I already knew like we're probably gonna get hated on, but as long as 
70 percent rock with it i'm cool you know yeah so, i just knew we had to make it justice because of what it was and it was going to be our first single so i kind of sat with the record that's kind of my process like him he'll just go in me i sit with it for a little bit let like certain words come to me so i take a little bit longer but i just knew i had to like get off on it yeah but and there's always early pressure. sure I know it's early, but uh, is there room for a remix? And who would be on it? Mm. Cardi B. Cardi B. Right <laughs> Get a female on it, because it's kind of like a female empowerment song. People think we talk shit, but we're saying it's cool to be a hood rat. We're trying to bring that word back. It has a negative uh, stigma to it. Not just females are hood rats either, though. That's for all hood rats, but um, it'll be cool to get a female's perspective on it and her kind of either talking shit about dudes or, or not. I don't know. Um, That'd be kind of crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, I think Cardi, let's feel me on this. Like, I think Cardi will jump on that and talk that shit, you know? That's what she does, yeah. Put it in the universe. For real, man. Hey, so listen, congratulations on the song, man. And we're waiting on the full album. I know we're working. How many songs are we sitting on right now? Pause. Uh, I don't know, what, 300? Or like 300 songs. Yeah. We always, like for the EP, which we're releasing first, we probably recorded like 150, 200 songs, narrowed it down to like nine. Um, that's yeah. done, we just haven't released it yet. And then the album we're working on now, uh, we'll probably have like 15 songs and we got more like big features on that. But I like the album, it's fire. Both of them are dope, man, but we're sitting on a lot of music for sure. That's right, man, we can't wait to hear it. Uh, where can people catch you guys right now? As far as they're in quarantine and they want to, you know, they want to vibe with Coyote. The internet, go on our, the internet, uh, yeah, go on our YouTube, go on our SoundCloud. Time, in, yeah. Fire. SoundCloud, yeah, SoundCloud, we just started yeah, we doing just that. Started SoundCloud, um, and just our personal Instagrams for the most part. Yeah, we're sitting on so much sound. music that we're gonna start just feeding the SoundCloud. The shit that's not gonna make the cut, but still dope. We'll feed that, and then the album stuff and the EP stuff to take more serious but uh we're releasing content three four times a week so instagram coyote for hire youtube coyote for hire and uh itunes and everywhere pretty much everywhere bro my guys congratulations man keep creating oh, let's fucking win oh yeah man appreciate it man real shit yeah, man come up, through bro. anytime you guys already been up there man you know for cruise yeah, care yes, you guys pulled up and helped yeah. out so we thank you very much for that man and uh we hope to uh, see you guys soon, man. Once this shit is all over, what y'all gonna do first, man? We hitting the strip club? Or are we yeah, going to? Hey, uh, go. You, you said me, it, bro. We're pulling up. 